In this video, we're going to get comfortable with finding the length of a line segment within a graph. Let's say I gave you a graph with a line like this. If you were asked to find the length of this line here, then all you would have to do is x2 minus x1. We'd get 6 minus 1 and we would know that the length is 5 units long. We can do this because the line was perfectly horizontal. But what would we do if the line had a slope to it, or shall I say a slant to it? Well, let's try an example to find out how we can find the length of this line. We know that we can't simply say that the line is equal to x2 minus x1, since this is a slanted line and the line length would be longer than this distance. But we can use the Pythagorean theorem to correctly find the length of this. After all, even though there are no real lines for the two legs, we know that this slanted line can be seen as the hypotenuse and that the leg lengths could be found in just a few steps. We've got this leg here which can be found by doing x2 minus x1. We would get 6 minus 1 which equals 5. We'd also get the leg length right over here which we know we can do y2 minus y1, and we know right away that that would be 4 minus 1, which equals 3. And we will call this hypotenuse c. Now let's pull up the Pythagorean theorem here. So what we have is 5 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. What we get is 25 plus 9 equals c squared. If we simplify this down a few steps, we end up getting c equals square root 34. The length of this line, therefore, is the square root of 34. And there it is. Awesome. So, what can we take away from this example? Well, when you're given a line segment created by two coordinates, you have enough information to find out the length of that line whether it is perfectly horizontal or slanted through the use of the Pythagorean theorem. The two legs can be found by doing x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. With those dimensions, all we have to do is plug them into our a and b for our Pythagorean theorem, and from there, if you square root both sides, you would get the length of c. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you will try some questions and we will see you in the next lesson.